Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the Straight Talk Podcast. Welcome back, baby. Chicago Bulls. You were born. Coming out. And you didn't have the dangly bits. That is the, the first, you know, half title of this video. And yeah. I don't know if we're going to video. It's intriguing to me. Put the title as that, but... Yeah, no, but it is intriguing. Oh, he's got the vest on today. It's a sunny day outside. So, yeah, let's have a, a sunny video. Let's go. <laughs> And now, deliberately misgendering someone, i.e. refusing to call someone by their preferred pronouns, as opposed to their biologically correct pronouns, could become a hate crime under the next link. Sorry for pausing it first of all, but uh, this links to the uh, JK Rowling video. Um, In Scotland. Like we said, you don't want to greet someone every time by saying what your pronouns. Mm -hmm. It's just long. Yeah. Every person I go up to, unless I know them, or your family, I don't want to be like... What's your pronouns? What do I have to call you? It's mm. like just let it's like mate or she. It's like it's like man. Like, why is it a hate crime? misgendering someone. You, you you just are what you're born with. It's mm. like like it says on here. If you're born with dangly bitch, you're a male, and if you're not, you're a female. If the dangle, the dangle. So, Government punishable by imprisonment. So Keir Starmer wants to toughen up the sentencing guidelines for abuse and violence targeted at trans people and bring them into line with those motivated by race or religious hatred. Joining me right now is commentator and activist Shivani Dalve, who joins us in the studio with uh, Candice Holdsworth, who's still here as well. Uh, good afternoon. Lovely to see you today. Um, look, this is just a, a policy, you know, that's been looked at. This is something that we know a lot of Labour activists would like to happen, uh, many on the front bench as well. The idea being that Refusing to call someone by their preferred pronouns is an expression of transphobia, I guess is the reasoning, and therefore it is a hate crime. Um, do you think it is? I think this is hilarious. This is a joke, right? This is we're being punked, right? Because nobody has said this. Nobody from Labour's front bench have said this. This is not a Labour policy. This is something that was written up in the Daily Mail as something that had come from a Tory source. And we know that the Tories have been of late making up Labour policies. We heard of the meat tax. That was a policy that never was. The council's going to start limiting how often you can go to the shops. Another policy that never was. This is a joke. No, to be fair, on those policies, those net zero policies, that... Well, it's actually not a joke so because she's in, Scot a joke. in Scotland already, this has already been yeah. enforced, so I, it's not that much of a joke. No. Do you know what I mean? It's about you know, what the Climate Change Commission and others had suggested would be necessary to reach their targets. But those were never Labour policies, were they? No, they were never Labour policies. No, it wasn't that they were Labour policies. But, but, and and but just we, like that, this isn't a Labour policy. But we know when we have a Labour leader and Labour front benches who say that a trans woman is a woman, uh, defending the, the rights of... Uh, a man who has committed rape or sexual assault against a woman to be able to say, I'm now living as a woman, I'm a trans woman, and therefore the right to go into a woman's prison. That is where, well, this is the this is the logical extension of that, is it not? It will get to this point where we have murderers and rapists uh, that are men going into these women's prisons because they um, identify as women. <laughs> Come on. Do they identify as women or do they just want to be with women? I, 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 bro, listen, if you'd have committed a crime, <coughs> you can bet your ass that 10 men out of 10 men will say they want to get sentenced to a woman's prison. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? They'll have some right fun in there. They'll have some right fun in there. They can't... If, if you look at the bigger picture, this only ends in a worse situation. Yeah. You look at the bigger... Yeah, like, I mean, obviously it looks right now, it looks like, oh, we're only sending a few people who identifies women to these women's prisons. But when what about when all of them start identifying? Or if a, a vast majority of them start identifying as women and then there's the loads of crime happening in women's prisons, what are you going to do then? Are you going to get? Are you going to arrest them again? Are you going to lock them up again? It's like there's no there's no true outcome. What, Ain't no true outcome. That's going to be good anyway. It's like, look at the bigger picture. Oh, because it's this, this isn't a policy. This has is, this is come out of thin air. This is nonsense. Well, I mean that that's certainly that's certainly not under what has uh, has been has been briefed in terms of what Labour policy would be. But I completely. But, but who was who was the person doing that briefing? And to whom were they briefing? Okay, that's that's a fair point. But they have said they're going to strengthen the law to ensure perpetrators they say anti LGBT plus hate can no longer dodge longer sentences. And right. Liz Dodds, the Shadow Women and Equalities uh, Secretary, it, said the Conservatives are fake. Like, prisons are full, and they're going to sentence people or they're threatening for sentence people someone. for misgendering someone. It's a joke. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They must not be that full. 
yeah. protect LGBT plus people. I've never known what the plus is with their inability to get a handle on hate crime, including violent hate crime. Labour will strengthen the law to ensure the perpetrators of anti-LGBT plus hate can no longer dodge longer sentences. Our fully funded plan, blah, blah, blah. We'll recruit 30,000 more police officers. But we know that you know in gonna, the last year... You know what's going to get me? Um, if it's, it's, it's like if a paedophile and someone who's misgendered someone and they're getting similar sentences or oh, it's like yeah, it's, awful, it's like they're put it? in the same category as one of them yeah you know they're putting you, they, you are literally put inside the same place as a punishment as a paedophile just because you've misgendered someone and it, it bro come mm. on now that's no, just, I know. It's so unfair I know it's ridiculous it is no, two people have actually been convicted, although they're, they're in court on appeal, they have been, these cases have actually been uh, t- uh, thrown out, uh, convicted of, of, of basically of misgendering, so-called misgendering of people, a Christian preacher uh, accused of harassing a transgender woman while, when just simply saying, referring to her, a, well, I'm sorry, referring to, to him, referring, okay, but referring. I'm reading the copy, referring to a transgender woman, i.e. a biological man, as a man, and a gentleman. That case has ended up actually being on appeal, thrown out. I wonder if you can set a, a transgender woman, then you are a biological man. No, I don't think you can. But yeah, but that's not. That's yeah. like yeah, but I'm not that now. Yes, but you were born a man. Yeah, you, you, you can't. To, these days, facts just get you in trouble. Oh, facts just get you. Facts just get. Ben you Shapiro said facts don't care about your feelings, but the new slogan should be facts, facts. are going to get you up shit creek without a paddle. Yeah. For me, I completely understand you. Your preferred pronouns are they and them. Yeah. Um, you are a biological female, if you say so. I don't think it's me saying so. If you say so. Like, you either are or you aren't. Do you know these trans people? They hate the fact that they were born into the wrong body or so they said the wrong body. Like, uh, are you a biological man? Uh, I'm not willing to disclose that. You're a biological woman, if you say so. You... You either are or you aren't. What the... Accept reality. You were, you, were born, you were literally born a female. You just oh. got to accept it. Like, you can't... You can't go change... You can't change your past, you, bro. You, you're brown-skinned. Yeah. If you say so. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's like someone literally. trying to deny what skin colour they are. Yeah, that's right. 100%. I think it's a matter of fact, is it not? Depends on, depends on who you're asking, right? But there's a difference. No! It doesn't depend on who you're asking. It depends on if you were born a man or a woman. There you go. I don't understand the difference between sex and gender. I totally get that. So, so you were born, yeah, and you didn't have dangly bits. So I'm gonna are guess you, are you were. On, are you on live TV asking what my genitals look like? Is no, that, I'm is not that saying, the conversation no, I'm, you're no, I'm saying that by logic. Well, that's a conversation that you need to have because you won't admit that you were born as a woman. It has to get to a point where you're asking what your genitals look like because you won't actually admit what you were actually born as. Aye, 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 I cannot take this no more. Come on, bro. My, my brain is like... These people, they frustrate me so much. This video. You know, you were, you were on your birth certificate, you were... Julie, if you want to see what my genitals look like, buy me a drink first. <laughs> Come on. At the very least. Come on. But I'm just saying that, that you know, th- this is how we have for time immemorial being able to tell what is a boy or a girl baby when they're born. Okay, that's, we looked down, I had a baby, what is it? They didn't go, we'll do a load of tests and ask the baby in 16 years' time. They went, looked down and said, it's a girl. Okay, so that's how we've done, that's how we've done it. Right, okay, not to make light of it. You say that you you don't like her and she, you want to be they, them. Now, for me, I'd say, well, okay, use any words you choose to use, you're entitled to do that, it's a free country. However, for me, they and them are plurals, Referring to if there were two more or more than people, one. Yeah, more than I don't one. feel comfortable doing that. So, is it okay if I'm otherwise showing you respect and more? How do you call someone then? Like, I, I, how do you do it? Ah, oh, bro. Well, I, I, so, I, you you have to put in. A, it sounds like you're stupid. Only you people. Kind of, it sounds like you you don't know how to speak. Only, like, only people that I feel like should be called they and them. Them doesn't like chocolate. It's well, like, well, well, no. The the only people apart from more than one person, I think the only people that should be called they and them, or or should be or or should prefer those pronouns, is those that have got split personalities that actually are two or three different people. There's actually people out there with a mental illness. Yeah. Where the one person one minute and then the, the, the split, this, personality disorder, yeah. split personality disorder. They're the only people that have an argument for they and them. Yeah, that is it. Is it okay for you? Do you think it's okay for me to say I don't? 
I don't want to do that. I find it offensive to be asked to misuse language in that way, as I view it. I mean, we could that, debate all day back and forth that about, is the the debate, use of, of, about the use of gender-neutral pronouns as a singular or a plural of a pronoun. Like, you've got academic scholars, literate people involved in language and to much greater depth than me who will say that using they, them as a singular pr pronoun is, in fact, entirely an appropriate way stick. to use that word. Like you don't, don't want to do it, song. fine. I've been on the show before and you've Ooh. referred to me as a woman, you've re referred to me as she or her before. And look, I've not I've not kicked off about it. I've not got upset about it. You do you, I'm going to yeah. do me. But Are you going to get upset about something that you are? Yeah, some of that is true. On your point about the LGBT hate crimes and the want from Labour to issue those punishments in the same way that they would for hate crimes of, regarding race or religion, would you not think that hate crimes of any variety should be given the same I, level of, of treatment? I, I suppose comes... for me, then, that's a question about what we describe as a hate crime. So, for instance, someone saying, I, I consider it to be unacceptable to expect me to use incorrect grammar and to tell a lie, a biological lie. I know the other woman say a word yeah, yeah, that's by the way. You up, bro? I know. Sorry, sorry, guys. Go I on. have not heard the other woman say a word. Yeah, no, you've always said, never no. had a chance to talk. I, I consider that to be uh, fun. That's my 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 view on that is as protected as your right to say this is what I prefer. And a few years ago, I would have, as a matter of courtesy, used your preferred pronouns and other and have done in the past with other take trans guests as well. Um, and yet Sorry. now I feel very differently <coughs> after cases where say women have been told by judges. This has actually happened in the British court. You must refer to your uh, alleged rapist as she or her and say, she inserted her penis. I don't think that we have crossed them. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's a good point. It's a good point. It's so true. I like this one. I want to see it on Piers Morgan. Sure. Yeah, so there, right? It's a matter of courtesy, but it shouldn't be the law. So there is there is a case of somebody who self-describes as a tough uh, trans uh, exclusionary radical feminist mm -hmm. and it's a term of abuse by well, but she but she by she, she defines oh, well, that's because we've no, no, taken no, it as no, no, a, she defines herself yeah. as that so i'm just using the language yeah. that she has used she harassed a trans person on twitter calling a trans person a pig in a wig mm -hmm. she was convicted for malicious communication <clears throat> after harassing this person yeah. for a huge yeah. am amount of time that was then overturned on appeal mm -hmm. look whether or not i think it's right if somebody uh, does deliberately misgender somebody or does not deliberately misgender somebody based on whatever their ideological point of view is, mm. whatever. But at the moment, we are seeing that trans hate crimes are rising. Just last week, I was here talking to you about the fact that they've increased by 11%. Do you think trans hate crimes would grow if they didn't keep pushing it on us? No, and if they didn't keep putting women, uh, men in women's prisons and men in women's sports, I think that it would be fine and no one would care. But because they are pushing it on us so much, you sort of... You, you, you have go, to bite yourself you, you eventually. You go against what gets you, you pushed on you, don't you? You have to bite yourself eventually. You can't just agree to everything. We've, we've given them so much leeway. Mm. You know, they've shown so much leeway, like, to a point where they, they, they're taking down our, our, our country's yeah. flags. and Same as the pride flag. Like, look, no one cares that people are gay. We care that we see it on every single yeah. bottle that we see. And Listen, then people can complain that they take the, the, the British flag down or the England flag yeah. that are uh, warriors and, and, and Knights Templar soldiers war you know what gets and me died out? for now it gets taken down for a pride flag you know i don't care if you're gay you can be whatever you want to be but when it gets to a point where my mum goes out or my dad and, and and they call someone a name because that's what they're originally born as and they get not done, even a name not, the, not even the, a name for that the, pro, the original the actual pronoun for a male or a female and they're getting done for that mm. you know, think, i'm gonna feel yeah. I'm, I'm gonna and be fuming he, he has a gay auntie i have a gay sister vin is my nephew so we have we have someone that is gay in our family that we love very much and um don't love her no different than before and yeah. you know to be honest with the trouble that she's had with men we're glad she's we're woman yeah so, but it's the fact that it gets pushed on you. You know, if she come round every day saying, you know, put, yeah. you know I'm gay, you know yeah. I'm gay, right? Yeah. Then we'd be like, yeah, we don't care. She tells so, you once and then that's it. Yeah, and that's it. Done. You know, move on. Yeah, it's like, they're trying to make it out like they're not accepting into society. They were accepted long ago. Now they're just trying to push ha this bullshit all Infiltrate the women. And that's <sighs> where the problem becomes. Gosh. In the last year. The reports of trans... Reports of trans hate crimes. The Home Office, I'm glad you could pull me up on that because the Home Office actually said that, according to their research, 90% of trans hate crimes go unreported. 
Gallup, which is an LGBT abuse charity, has seen an increase of 65% of hate crimes being reported okay. to them, not the police in the last okay, year. Okay, but again, it's how we describe those things. But again, I don't like I, the case The case involved, the, the case you just mentioned, someone basically being abusive online, uh, that's very different, I think, from someone saying, with, you know, with all due respect, um, I don't accept that men can become women and women can become men. I don't believe that people are non-binary other than those who are the tiny, tiny percentage of people who are who are born with with uh, both sets of you know, male Inter and female. Intersex and non-binary are two different things. Exactly. Two different it, things. I know, that's my point. And therefore, and, and that's a very different thing. And therefore, I, I, I don't want to, for a better phrase, play along with that. But that's not hate, is it? I mean, look, you can do what you want to do. And, and no, but it's not hate. You well, said that. Is that hate or not? I'm, you know, the way that you've treated me, I wouldn't describe as hate, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you do with other people, whether they would describe that as hatred or not. But then, but, oh, then it's subjective. Of course it's subjective. But that's, that, Candace Holdsworth, bring you in. This is where the issue is. Yeah, so if, if Shivani says, that, OK, that's fine by me, I can see that you're, you're not full of hatred towards me. But if someone, I could say, have exactly the same conversation with someone else, and they could say, well, that's a hate crime. Yes, I think we do need a distinction, though, between someone being genuinely, genuinely hateful and abusive, mm -hmm. and like you say, harassing someone online, and someone just stating their genuinely held belief. I, I, I'm, I'm on that, 100%. Mm -hmm. If you're going up to someone and saying, you're a man, 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 you're chucking bare you're air man, man, for no man, reason, man. yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. I get it. That's not called for. I get it. It's not called for and, and it's unreasonable. Mm. But if you just go up to them and misgender them, like not meaning any hate towards them, it's like, then it's not. Like a she hate said, crime. we all do respect. It's I'm not willing to play along crime. with what you've said um, and what you believe. The same way that Christ some atheists don't believe what Christians believe, that, that you'd get in trouble for slandering a Christian and, 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 and it, within hateful speech and being nasty to them and derogative and things like that. But if you just said, look, with all due respect, I'm not going to go along with what you believe. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in a God. So therefore, I will continue talking to you, uh, not believing in a not God. Not going for abuse and throw drinks on them and stuff Yeah, like yeah, that. not throwing abuse on them. So it's the same thing. You know, we're not going to go along with what you believe, but we respect your decision, but we're going to stick to facts, yeah. basically. Yeah. Biological reality is more important than gender expression, and we need to make those distinctions in public life. And I think the law is very poor at doing that because it is such a subjective thing, but and it is based on personal interaction. But that's but that's what comes into that's that's why police get involved. That's why there's a whole uh, legal system that we have in place to to deal with these things. What I can say is. You can generally tell, right, when someone is being mean to you or... You can also generally you... tell when someone is a man or a woman. Well, or whether there's one of them oh! online. Oh! Mic drop. There we go. That's true. There we go. I told that I'm a boy online. Like, you can shave your hair all you want. You're a woman. Yeah. I told I'm a girl. Look, people don't always know this whole. We can always tell. I think that that's so eventually. I, I think that's then eventually going to end up harming cisgender women the most because they're going to have well, women. Okay, women are going to say cisgender. We're women. Women. There's women, only one kind. Women, are, women. women are then going to start having their bodies policed in the same way that trans they, people have their bodies policed. But they they're already gonna, are. They, they are, and it's only going to get worse for them. You know, if you're a particularly tall biological woman, if you've got a biological woman with big hands, those kinds of things are then going to start being something that. Uh, people start to... But doesn't, to, doesn't this all come about by the problem has all started with with men who want to live their lives as, as if they were women uh, encroaching no. on biological women's safe spaces? No, no, no. no. In, whether it's, it's a refuge, no. whether it's a prison, whether it's, uh, whether it's a no, coaching this room is, or a toilet. This is, this is about trans people being able to live freely no, and... But who's stopping trans people living freely? Well, all of this, all of this rhetoric then... But your ability to, to live free doesn't require... Why does that require me, me to use your words as... No one's stopping trans people from living freely. We're mm. just saying, don't push it on us. Yeah, no, because then you're stopping us from living freely. Yeah, literally, that's it. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, that's that's all we can really say, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, I, I like this woman, Julie Hartley. I'm not sure her name. I don't know. Julie Hartley. Yeah, Julie Hartley. I don't know if, what woman that is. Um, in fact, yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Julie Hartley. I agree with you a hundred percent. And yeah, it's a good video this. Yeah. And she you know, she's sticking up for the right cause. Women are women women are women and men are men and it's just facts. Yeah. So let us know what you guys thought of this video in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you later. I'm dying for a piss. <laughs>